Good morning and welcome to our kitchen. I'm Gordy Galusha. I'm Nancy Ostrash. And today is our 231st program. Very proud of that because I didn't think it would go this long, did you? <laughs> I was hoping that it would. Today we're going to be making a paprika chicken and rice bake and a best key lime pie. And we're going to start out with Nancy um, browning her okay, thank you. meat for her casserole. Okay, uh, this is a pretty easy recipe to put together. I have I've been heating up this uh, fry pan. And you can use um, a uh, oven proof pot that you want to brown um, your chicken in, but uh, I am going to switch over later to a oven um, proof pot. I want about a tablespoon of olive oil in the fry pan. And I have five not skinless um, chicken thighs. And in this bowl here, I have a mixture of about a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, and one teaspoon of dried parsley. And I've mixed it all together. And I want to coat the uh, chicken thighs with the skin. And I might have to put together some more. And you want to get a good, actually, a good uh, hot um, fry pan. Because you want to um, cook these till they're nice and brown. These are chicken thighs, Nancy? Yeah. Do you like them better than you do white meat? Well, I have a problem with chicken breasts nowadays. Do you? Unless, I guess, they're on the bone, uh, it, they seem to be better. But lots of times I'll buy boneless chicken breasts, and the way I happen to cook them, they're dry, they're tough. They're, so um, thighs tend to be tender, right? They're tender, better, mm. a little juicier. Uh, if you can get through, you know, they do have grizzle and, and fat. And uh, a bone joint. A bone, <laughs> yes. So, um, that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I guess you pick and choose. What which, which uh, you like the best. Um, so, I'm going to brown those on the skin side for about five to six minutes and then I will turn them uh, for another five to six minutes. So while that's happening I have to turn it back over to Gordy. Okay this morning I'm going to make the best key lime pie. It is very easy. I cheated a little bit. I got a store-bought graham cracker pie crust So anyway, in my bowl, I have a can of sweetened condensed milk, a half a cup of sour cream. I'm going to put in 3 quarters cup of lime juice, and the zest of four small limes. I'm going to keep out some of it for the chopping. And I'm going to whisk this together. And this is what it looks like. 
you can see the little green um, zest of the limes. These were really juicy limes. I've never seen such juicy ones. Okay, so this is all set, and I'm going to pour it into my pie crust. As I said, this is very, very easy to make, and it is delicious. If you like key lime, try this. I'm going to bake this in the oven for um, 10 minutes at 350. Excuse me, Nancy. Okay, that's in for 10 minutes. I'll set my timer. So, Nancy, do you have nothing to do right nothing now? Nothing to do right now? Well, we'll have to take a break. Okay, we're going to take a break for a second until the pie is done so I can make the whipped cream. See you in a second. All right, I have uh, browned the chicken thighs about six, five, six minutes on each side. And because um, the paprika uh, was put on, they browned up quite nicely uh, on the skin side. One of the things about the recipe is um, if you like chicken skin, and it's okay in moderation to have some chicken skin. People like chicken wings, so um, nice crispiness uh, of the skin is a good thing to have. So I've taken those out put them aside and in um, the fry pan now I am uh, cooking down the recipe calls for red onions if you want I don't usually I, I always use my Vidalia's when I can get them so these this is about a half a cup of Vidalia onions which I have chopped and I'm going to add to that um, one tablespoon of minced garlic. And we're going to cook this down. Until the onions are translucent as they say. Meanwhile, I have um, my oven pot here, and I'm going to put in one cup of your favorite rice. two cups, which is a can of chicken broth, and of course I got the less sodium chicken broth.
up and um, I'm going to put in the chicken thighs. What's beeping? Watch it, John. Hopefully, this will be big enough to put them all in. That's a nice pot, Nancy. Did you get that at a tag sale? Must have sometime, yeah. Yeah, they're nice to have, those crocs. Those um, ceramic, or what do you call them? Brownstone. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now I have to... I also want to add the this will go into a I put it 380 um, to 400 degree oven for 35, 40 minutes. And I'm going to wait off camera to put it in the oven so I don't make a fool of myself. It's gotten heavy. So we will be back in a little while um, to continue with the dessert and cook our chicken. Okay, I'm going to make a topping for my pie, which in my uh, bowl here, I have a cup of heavy cream and a cup of heavy whipping cream, a half a cup of um, powdered sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, I'm going to mix this up. This is a very, very easy, simple, good pie for a summer dinner or picnic or anything that you would need a dessert for. You can also make this gluten-free if you get the gluten-free graham crackers that are in, I find them in um, Price Chopper and you grind them up and put sugar and butter in with them and make a crust and the gluten-free eaters can enjoy a piece of pie too. Okay, this is almost done. Can make it a little thicker. Okay. This is what it looks like. It's got confectionery sugar and heavy cream and vanilla. Okay, I'm going to take it out and put it on my pie like this. You can be fancy with it, piping on the 
whipped cream would be pretty. Get it all out. Okay. Okay, and that's what the pie looks like. I'm going to add a little lemon uh, lime zest. And this is what the best key lime pie looks like. And there it is. Please try it. Okay. Yep, when we come back, we'll be, we'll at, be our at our table. table. Yep, our chicken will be finished and our pie is finished. Welcome back to our table. We fixed two yummy looking dishes today, both of them very easy to put together. And to finish them off, a nice uh, garden fresh salad or uh, vegetable would uh, hit the spot. Mine was paprika chicken and rice bake, and all I did was uh, some chicken thighs with the skin on, and I browned them first uh, to get the, well, before I browned them, I did um, rub on uh, a mixture of salt, pepper, paprika, and parsley flakes. And that helped uh, when you were browning the skin on the chicken so that um, it uh, got nice and brown. So that was, they were cooked first on the skin side, then I turned them over each uh, time for about five or six minutes. I took them out and um, put them into, well, I put them into just a, a dish because um, I'm going to cook them or bake them in an oven uh, covered uh, baking dish. Uh, Next, in the same fry pan, I sauteed a half a cup of chopped onion and some uh, garlic. Then in this baking dish, uh, I put in two cups of chicken broth, lower sodium of course, and a cup of your favorite rice. Mixed it together, put the chicken uh, cooked chicken thighs over in the rice and wa uh, broth mixture. Pour it on the onions that have cooked through and covered it and put it in an oven of 380 to 400 uh, for about 35, 40 minutes until the rice has um, been absorbed of the chicken broth. And that is um, chicken thighs are still nice and crispy looking. And um, so that was pretty easy to put together. Now, Gordy, how about your dessert? Uh, today I made what is called the best key lime pie. I was a little lazy. I didn't make my own crust. I already bought it the way it is. But I will give you um, the ingredients to a pie crust that you can make. Uh, with one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs, a third of a cup of granulated sugar, and six tablespoons of melted butter. And uh, you can either put, um, the, we have the cracker crumbs already. All you have to do is mix them up and put them in a pie pan. And for the key lime filling, I have a cup of, uh, one can of sweetened condensed milk, a half a cup of light sour cream, three quarters cup of key lime juice, and a zest from two regular limes or four key limes. And for the, for the topping, it's one cup of heavy whipping cream, one half cup of powdered sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. I mixed it all up and this is what it looks like. And I put a little of the zest on top that I had left over. And this is the key lime pie. You do have to cook the... Uh, we have to, you, I'm sorry, you have to um, bake your pie crust for seven minutes um, in your pie plant, pie, pan, excuse me and then take it out and cool it down and then make your topping. And when it's cool, you put the topping in your um, pie but, plate. But you have to cook the, the uh, 
mixture, the lime mixture. You have to bake that in a 350 degree oven for seven minutes. And that's uh, what it looks like. Try it. I, I'm sure you, you will like it. So if you'd like any of these recipes, please send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Dalton Community Cable, 151 Park Avenue, Dalton, Mass., 01226. And that is all from our kitchen today. Please have a great day.